Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to more ukulele. This is part 18, and uh, we're going right into the pond. Right into the water here, which we purified in the last episode. We made all nice and clear. Still very much like swamp water, so probably wouldn't be something you'd, you'd normally want to be wading around in, but at least now it's not toxic to us. It won't hurt us. And it looks like there's some quills down here, so you know we're gonna get those, man! Where have you been? Help, I'm getting jabbed by thorns down here! Are you a page, dude? Can you even feel pain? How do we, um, can we use the super sonic slam down here? Let's see. Yeah, we can. That won't get rid of the, uh, thorns? I guess not. There must be some other way to do it. See, there's definitely thorns, like, all over down here, and there's a bunch of pipes, too. Um, now I think with the bubble we can actually, um, swim through areas that- God, I'm trying to get comfortable. Swim through areas that have the, uh, water flow flowing out, or, like, bubbles flowing through. So, I, this pipe was a surefire bet, because this one wasn't shooting out anything. But I think there was another one that was, um, uh, spitting water out. On, in that little pond that we probably could have gone through too. Oh man, this looks like a big area. What's going on in here? Oh man, and this this shadow effect I can already tell is ruining my frame rate here. Um, yeah, chopping it up, baby. Oof. Well, this is definitely just a a, a little side area, so I'm sure we won't be here for that long. Get out of here. I gotta probably use the Sonic Slam or the Sonic Explosion or whatever for these guys. Let me try it out. Yeah! Oh, it stunned him. Anyway. Oof, ouch. Not much good it actually did me, though. I mean, I'm getting disoriented by these uh, spinning things, actually. Oh my god. Oh man, I'm down to one health. Is there a butterfly or anything, even? Oof. Can I get health back by going in the water in this game? I don't think I can. This is Mario. Alright, we just have to be careful then with this. Ow! And just as I say that, we freaking die. I think that was the first time I've seen like that death animation really up close on land. It's kind of cute. Laylee like falls off Yuka's head and like bounces around on him before she dies. Well, I mean, the fact that she dies is not cute, but... <laughs> Alright. Yeah? Yeah? No, you're, you're, you're going down. Okay. And then there's this guy up here who I don't even think I can... I'm not even gonna try to hit him. Who cares? Who even cares about you, guy? Is this a slippery slope? No. Okay. So we can use this here? Oh, I didn't realize that Yuka covers his ears. When she does it, that's so good. I thought it was supposed to be able to break glass, right? Shouldn't it be able to break through this? Is there another charge power or something we have to use? What the hell? Are we sure? That's really not how you do this? I thought for sure. All right. Oh, here's here's Speedy Boy. Let's see. Are we gonna have to catch him underwater? I guess we're gonna have to use this, right? Come here, you. You silly. You silly William. Silly D. Williams. Come on. Oh man, we were so close. I almost had him. Hey, uh, I thought I had him. That it, it looked like I got him there. There we go. Just had to wait. He was only running on like a linear path there. He was just running back and forth, so that wasn't so hard. Really? That's not how I do this? I can't break that that very apparently cracked glass with my sonic boom move? Because I thought this was how we were going to have to... I can't like jump. I can't just do it closer and it will work. I definitely thought this was how we were going to have to, like, do stuff like breaking the glass in, um, in Hybrid Towers and that one area with, like, the pipe and all that stuff. 
Really? It doesn't do it? It's not something I'm missing, right? The face towards it or anything? I guess not. I guess that's just not the way to open that. Unless it is, I don't know. <laughs> it see, it uh, always seems like I get a power and then I run across something that looks like I should be able to use that power on it, and it isn't. Like how I got the power to literally like become fire in Glitter Glaze Glacier, and I still couldn't use it to melt the ice in there. Now it's like I can. I got a power that specifically said use it to break glass and stuff. Then I can't use it on that cracked glass. <laughs> uh, maybe I just wasn't doing it right. I'm sure we'll figure it out someday. This is not right either. I could always just make this an infinity pool and just swim down here forever. What I wanted to do was look up and see if there was anywhere I could else I could swim. I guess not. Alright. Is this meant to be our water level? Because if it is, I'm okay with it. Um... Definitely doesn't seem to be too, like, swimmy. Too watery. Let's, um... Let's just renew this. I feel like... Hold on. I'm gonna let it get up all the way, and then just run out. Go, 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 go! Huh. Well, how do I do that? can't get underneath this either? Some other thing that I just can't do? <laughs> I don't like finding that kind of stuff. Why am I... Why am I moving so fast there? It's because I'm going down a slope? Let me see. Yeah, I guess it must be. We could... Maybe... Hold on. Is this a slope we can run down? Get some speed built up here. Yeah, I think we can... I think we can do this. Let me... I might just take figuring out exactly how to do it right. And that is not the way. Oh, maybe it is the way. Oh, yeah, it totally is. Oh, we gotta get rid of that, then. Never mind, I was coming at this the wrong way. Alright, here we go. Let it go all the way up. Get rid of the bubble. Just swim on in, baby. Nice. Okay. Some more quills. This is, seems to be a very expansive little underwater passage, though. Let's, um, pop this and then blow ourselves another one. Man. There's no way through the thorns. Unless we can go around the other side, which doesn't look like we can. Do I have to just swim over these? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, it's not gonna hurt me while I'm swimming. Alright, there we go. Here's some more quiles. I guess this area is all about knowing when you need to sink and then when you need to swim. Future Snack, call this episode Sink or Swim, maybe. <laughs> just, I really should just stop asking Future Snack to do these things because I can never make up my mind on whether I actually want him to or not. This is kind of like the um, block puzzle we did in that other room, except in this room, we're the block instead. I think actually we're good here. As long as I'm looking up. Oof! <laughs> Leave a little bubble behind there, I guess. All right, well, we probably want to be bubbled for this area. There's quills down here. What does this do? Does that maybe like blow water in different areas, different directions. Let's see. Just want to make sure. I, I'm getting all, like, zoned out. I'm getting in, like, a weird little, like, chill vibe because of the, because of this underwater music and this whole area just kind of relaxing me. All right, so let's figure out what's going on in this room. There's water coming from there. This is, that's gotta be what this stuff is, right? These switches turn other water on or something? What's, actively, what does this do? Oh, we're sliding around too. 
doesn't look like that is doing anything. I guess we should just try to find one that does something. What about this? That, Alright, that does. That blows water. Oh, you know what? I see. I see what we got going on here. This thing in the middle can roll, I'm pretty sure. We can use that to blow it around. Probably need it, like, there. Then maybe we have to step on the second one. That's the idea. Because there's not another, um, little canister or anything like that. This probably, this is, seems maybe very Zelda-like. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I spoke too soon. We are going to have to find some other way. Right? Because I can't just, I can't stop standing on this. I don't think, at least. Or, well, maybe I can. I think, actually... Can I just fly up? I think we got plenty of time actually to make it through here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I'm happy that worked out. <laughs> that, um... Alright, here's another one like this. Hold on. Let's re redo our bubble. It's all it needs to be very controlled down here. Alright. Go all the way up. We'll pop it and we'll swim through. Just make sure we swim around this thing. Yes, sir. Yeah! Man, this is a long place. A lot of stuff in here. Is it, we're not done still? Oh, now here... This has got to be the end of the gauntlet. <laughs> but they're getting a lot of mileage out of these underwater puzzles. I don't hate this. It's pretty cool. We got this swimming ability now. We, oof. Yeah, we're not making it through that one. Ow! Oh, unnecessary. You hate unnecessary pain. That's one of those things you actually do hate. We just need to be more careful with how we're getting through here. That's probably good. Swim up really fast. And swim on down really fast. Whoo! Alright. <laughs> I'm definitely going to try to bait some of these guys over to coming and seeing me. Because I want to get rid of them. I think there's actually maybe enough in this room that uh, we could get that next tonic. You're out of here. There we go. You unlocked a new tonic. All right, and I'm sure that's got to be taking out the underwater enemies, right? There's no way it's not. <laughs> I don't want to risk it though, unless if it's some other dumb garbage bullshit one. I'm gonna be mad, but who cares? Whatever. I that had to have been ten of them, right? There's we took out quite a few. And that pipe opens up. That's got to be our way out. Make sure we actually grab the pagey. Um, too often in these kind of games, like, if it's something like this, I'll be like, all right, we did it. Time to get out of here. Just forget the pagey behind. Can't tell you how many fast runs of DK64 have been messed up because I was sure I'd gotten a golden banana, and I just did not even pick it up. I did the challenge and didn't go get it. <laughs> go watch the, um... Watch the angry Aztec race on Puddle Plains if you want to see that. There's Molly Cool. Or the Molly Cool. Is Molly Cool like. Is it a character or is it just. Is it like a pickup? Alright. There we. There's that. <laughs> up we went too. Oh, okay. We're up here now. Alright, so we'll get you. I guess Dr. Puzz must be in this area. Man, what is our transformation gonna be here? I'm excited to see that. Always. Maybe something to get through the swamp water? Baby crocodile? Or... <laughs> I feel like I've made that joke before already. About it being a banjo. Uh, just being like mumbo jumbo. Shoutouts to the baby crocodile. I think he's probably my favorite transformation in Banjo-Kazooie. Alright. So here's Rextro. So we're gonna need to find his coin too. But maybe we should look for Hey, get out of here. Maybe we should look for Puzz. She's gotta be nearby too. She might be up on um that rock or something. Yeah, look at a Rex are just chilling up here on this little pedestal. I guess you we can't see what his game is called yet. Yeah, there's something up here. Or maybe there will be at one point, or at some point later. When we've expanded it all. There's a 
mush. Oh, there she is. There's the ray gun. Are you right down here? Oh, she is. Okay, we could have just swam over to her. I bet this is some way to clear out the thorns. Let's see, weird angle here, too. What do you got for us this time, Doc? Oh, hello there. I wasn't expecting you. It's a shame we have to cross paths in such a damp and smelly place. <laughs> Uh, you'd feel right at home here amongst the reeds with all your slimy tentacles. Reminds me, I have a very special transformation prepared. Alright, this next form is even too powerful for that dummy Dr. Quack to comprehend. We're ready, Doc. We found your molly cool already. Alrighty. Let's get it done. Where is the pad, though, for the DN Ray? Is it here? Under the water? Oh, man, it is. Is this just like a swimming form? You ready? Yeah, I guess so. We don't make our cute little face. What are we? Uh, to control the shoal? L, A, and... Or the control stick, A, and L, T to swim, and X to attack. Is it like... Oh, man. Oh, whoa! Whoa! This is so weird. We're like a we're a school of fish. That's the transformation. We're like a piranhas. We can probably eat the uh, reeds here, right? Or maybe we can just swim down and get the pagey. Wow, this is so strange. Look at <laughs> it's like a, look at the lily fish. Oof, weird power. And that, that can't be all we do with this either, because that would be lame. Now, there might be more we have to do with it once we've expanded the level. I'm willing to bet that. But I just... I'm here, You know what I'm doing here? You want to know what I'm doing? I'm trying to get thumbnails. Thumbnail bait is these little swimming around shots. <laughs> Where, you know, the screen is very clear. You know, you can see everything that's going on. I'll bet we can go down in this thing. Right? That's the shoal, I guess, is what it's called. I don't know if that's a type of fish or if that's just, like, the British way to say, like, school. I don't know. Um, I guess that's the the ability of these guys is to be able to swim through the, um, the thorns. It's kind of cool. Seems like it's confined to this one little pond, though, so I don't know. Alright, well, we can definitely... Maybe this is, like, a big area that we have to go through see where we need to go. Oh, there's bones here. Can we, like, swarm and eat the bones? Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's something. Did that, like... I guess that activated that switch. Now the water is... Water pressure is on over there. What about over here? Is there a similar thing? Yeah, more bones. That's not the right way to go. We gotta go down. Or do I have to wait for these to, like, turn on and off? Yeah, I guess so. Go, boys! Go, yukas and Laylees. <laughs> what a weird transformation. That's one thing I will say. In Banjo, those transformations are always just like a thing with a backpack. And this, it's like they really transform. Like, both Yuka and Laylee in, like, unique ways. Um, like, the other ones have sort of been a combination of the two, and this is like... They're all, like, they, they, they've, like, multiplied. It's really cool. Yeah, I like this transformation. Seems like, you know, I'm trying to feel like I'm just repeating my words. Um, it might be more limited than, like, the snowplow, which we kind of took all over that world. Um, but it's neat looking, at least. Ouch. Still getting hurt, though. Swimming all the way down here, huh? This is just the swimming episode. Swimisode. Do not call this episode the swimisode. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, we're gonna mess these guys up too. If we hadn't already gotten that Whoa, hold on. If we hadn't already gotten that one tonic, we definitely would have gotten it here. Just use our feeding frenzy. I'm hungry, baby. I'm I'm it's it's jellyfish that I'm craving. Ooh. Humans do not eat jellyfish. Other animals do, though. Right? Do humans eat jellyfish? I don't think so. Question of the day, I guess. <laughs> I guess. So resigned to that. 
I feel like I should just try to take all these guys out, because I don't know really what my objective in here is. I guess to go up here. And just because I want to have fun with this power, because like that feeding frenzy, like swarm thing is pretty cool. We got some of our uh, Lailies stuck in our Yukas down there. What's going on in here? Oh, the dude's trapped under the bones! Trolley down! I need saving! Hey, you, go and get a St. Bernard that can hold its breath for a long time. Uh, how did this happen? Yeah, actually, I'm pretty, uh... <laughs> pretty uh, perplexed by that, too. Subaquatic trash collector like me knows the job comes with inherent danger. But falling bone piles took me by surprise. Let's hear this voice. Don't worry, okay. Okay, oof. How are, how did you get down here, dude? You are a shopping cart. <laughs> That's my question for every denizen of this world. Every uh, good old like standard NPC in here. How did you do it? You're a cart. Nice. So, <laughs> Alright, so they say, I guess. I was just trying to hear his voice, that's why I was being quiet. That's just what we were hoping for. We're fish. Look at us. Alright. <laughs> and give me the, the... Let's. Oh, I thought we could feeding frenzy into the fish. Thanks again for the pagey. Are you coming back ashore? The bones, they crushed my wheels as well as my spirit. What? This is where I'll see out the rest of my days, unless you could carry me. We don't speak trolley. Oh, what? Oh my god, we're just gonna leave him here? <laughs> Unless I can come back here as ukulele and carry him out. Really? He just, this just dude's just gonna straight up die, eh? Anything else he's gotta say? Let me slow you down. Tell all about the legendary trash collecting trolley you had to leave behind. Oh my god. That is just tragic. Alright, out we go. And this spits us out back here into the lake. So is that all that there is to do with the shoal? It might be for right now. I don't think, I don't know, he did like two full uh, pagey quests. I must just call them jiggies. Um, I think that might be all. Man, we've really just spent this whole episode exploring this lake, eh? Can we like surface with these guys? No, we can't. We gotta keep them under the water. Man, I wanted to see what they might look like swimming along the surface. All right, well, where is Puzz's platform then? I don't remember. Here's the molly cool. It's not over here, is it? It's somewhere along the outskirts. Oh, there it is, I think. I think that's it sticking out right there. All right, so we'll transform back out of this mode. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Right, turn me back. That was weird. How did what, that even work? Are like a fraction of their brains and like motor movements in each of the fish? It's very strange. I guess Dr. Quack probably couldn't come up with one that unique. Um, man, all right, that was cool. So there was that. So our, our trials upon the lake seem to be over for right now. But you know we got Rextro. You know we got a little bit more to do and it's all gonna go down next time. Till then, I've been Snack Attack 8. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next video. Later. I'm gonna lick Dr. Puzz. Get a nice little lick. She's like, oh, oh my. Ooh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> all right, bye.